After a 42-day chase, the main accused in the Bangalore cafe blast has finally been lamped. We'll just put out their pictures. One person is called Masavir Hossein Shazi. He's the man who plays the ID at the cafe. And then the other person on your screens is a man called Abdul Mateen Taha. He's the mastermind behind planning and executing the blast on March 1st. It is a blast that left 10 people injured. Now, both are said to be members of Bangalore's ISIS module, Al-Hind. Now, under normal circumstances, the arrest of two terrorists is something that we all should applaud, even the politicians. The NIA says the arrest from Calcutta today was the result of a joint operation between the central agency and the police of four states, including West Bengal, Kerala, Telangana and Karnataka. All opposition ruled states. Now, I know what you'll say. Terrorism is a national challenge and a nation needs to fight it together. Leave political differences aside and fight terror together. But I point that out because of the political turn that these two arrests took today. Barely an hour after the arrest, the BJP came out and said the arrest proved that West Bengal is a safe haven for terrorists. Bishoche Pushimongo Anturjatik Oporadi Jungi Tadirakta Muktanchol at a Barebare Promanos. Ekarone Mamota Benerji Bahatta Jaigai BSF K Jomi Daini Jate Katatare Bana Lagano Najai. Now, the NIA with the state police have managed to arrest two terrorists who were on the run for 42 days. And this is the sort of commentary that starts. It's unbelievable. The West Bengal police, under attack from the BJP, tweeted out the NIA statement that had reflected the Bengal police's role in this arrest. Mamta Banerjee then went ahead and did what all politicians usually do, take credit. She praised the Bengal police and explicitly said that the accused are not Bengalis, but Kannadigas. Kolongbaj Boleche Bangalore Ekta Buma Porichilo Lokrulo Kona Toka Amadari Kankar Noy Dugonta Bangla Lukichilo Dugonta Mudamra Dore Dieci Amadar Polish Ashekane Boche Bangla Sep Noy Thor Dili Sep Thor Uttal Poder Sep Thor Rajasthan Sep Thor Gujarat Sep Thor Bihar Sep Banglar Manu Shanti de Take, BJP Shojo Hoena Otta Charidol Ladies and gentlemen, West Bengal's relationship with central agencies is a difficult one. The NIA and Mamta Banerjee's government are sparring over the attack on an NIA team and their alleged collusion with the BJP. Yet the Bengal police and the NIA were professional enough to launch a joint operation to nap two terrorists. Did the BJP really have to drag this collaborative effort and effort to secure our nation through the dirt of electoral politics? In fact, today, even the country's Home Minister, Amit Shah, refused to comment on it or take that debate further. Listen in to what Mr. Shah said. देखिए इस पर मैं इस प्रकार की कोई टिप्पणी नहीं करना चाहता मैं एनआईए को बधाई देना चाहता हूं बहुत कम समय में बहुत अच्छे से इन्वेस्टिगेट कर कर मूल जमेत पूरे क्राइम को पकड़ा है My guest this evening, Radhika Bhattacharya Shah, is spokesperson of the Calcutta BJP. Tosifur Rahman is spokesperson of the TMC. And Yeshavardhan Azad is a former IPS. Uh, I think today, Mr. Azad, let's hear from the politicians and then I'll come to you. Radhika Shah, I'm going to start with you. Thank you very much for your time here on Mirror Now to begin with. Can I ask you, where was the need for Amit Malviya to start this entire Bengal is a safe haven for terrorist debate today on a day? when the Bengal police and the NIA actually have launched a joint operation and managed to arrest two terrorists within 48 hours, in fact, within two hours of them entering Bengal. What was he trying to say? 
Okay, I'll start with making an, an announcement to the country. They may not be aware that Ms. Mamza Banerjee is suffering from a disease called the foot and mouth disease. Because every time she opens her mouth, she puts her foot in it. And all she speaks of are lies. Mm. The fact that she mentioned that they were mm. nabbed in two hours is a load of bunkum. Because the truth is that these people were hiding there since 13, uh, uh, since the 13th of March, perhaps the 13th or 14th of March. And they mm. were in the guise of, uh, of, mm. of, uh, of different names. And uh, uh, Mamsa Banerjee claiming that the Bengal police got them is a fable. The hmm. fact is that it was a joint operation, okay. the NIA was involved, the central agencies were involved, the police of Telangana, of Kerala, of Karnataka, and Bengal were all involved in it. We must applaud all of them. Mata Banerjee likes hmm. to take credit for something that doesn't belong to her totally. Hmm. So if Mr. Amit Malvia said what he said, so I subscribe to his views. Bengal is hmm. the safe haven for terrorists in okay. India. Hmm. Because okay, so uh, no, a... I'm just going to stick to the specifics. Uh, TK, we'll, uh, just a minute, Radhika ji, just a minute. Uh, let me counter question. Let me ask you a counter question here. Uh, what are you trying to say when you say that these two terrorists had been hiding in West Bengal since 13th of March? Are you telling me that the West Bengal government was shielding them? Hiding them from arrest and hiding them from the NIA? Is that what you're saying? Because if Amit Malviya and you say that you, you that, that Bengal is a safe haven for terrorists. Is that what you're trying to say? That there was protection under Mamta Banerjee for these two terrorists? Because that is what I've understood. Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm trying to convey. Bengal has been a safe haven for terrorists hmm. since time immemorial. Let us not pretend that we don't know what's happening in Bengal. We know about Bengal's forest borders between Bangladesh and, 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 and Bengal. We know mm. that border security forces are not placed mm. everywhere. We know that when they come in from Bangladesh, uh, they mm. come and hide in Bengal under the agents of the TMC. The TMC leaders give them their cards. Mm. They give them their uh, voting cards, their Aadhaar cards, and every other card they need to live here as legal citizens. They come here in hiding, they operate as sleeper mm. cells, and then they attack the rest of India. Not okay. just this. Sheikh Hasina had warned us a long time ago that terrorists who do the runner from Bangladesh come into India and that we should be forewarned about their activities. So I agree with what Amit Misha, has said. And who okay. has been a okay. Uh, before I get the other guests in, I want I want a quick response to this question. Uh, what you're saying defies logic. Are you then telling me that on 13th of March, eight minutes, on the 13th of March, these two terrorists enter the state of West Bengal. The West Bengal police gives them protection. And then 12th, on the 12th of April, it actually launches a joint operation with the NIA to arrest these two terrorists. How does that make sense? You see, Why would you arrest TMC... someone you're trying to protect? No, with the TMC government, everything is possible. I believe that they hide the terrorists. They keep them under, undercover. I can see the smirk on your face, but I don't find it funny fair. Because I, as a mm. Bengali, I know what happens mm. in Bengal, and it's not funny. Because if, if, the, if the TMC and Mamta Banerjee gives umbrage to such people, the entire country becomes unsafe. It bothers the safety and security okay. and I will let of our country. Tosif Rehman respond. I, I will, I will, look, national security is an important issue. It is not something we should reduce to a frivolous debate. I agree with you there. But some of the things that you are saying, Ms. Shah, simply don't add up. I'll let Tosifur Rahman respond to what you have said. Uh, good evening, Shreya. And, uh, you know, I'll start with one uh, small uh, shairi. That we do it, we do but anyways, I was listening to uh, my BJP uh, co-panelist and she was speaking a lot about Trinamool Congress, that Trinamool Congress was shielding these two people who were accused for a uh, terror attack in uh, Bangalore. Uh, I want to just first of all say that we should appreciate the NIA, we should appreciate the West Bengal police. What they have done is a terrific job and within two hours they have grabbed those two accused terrorists. Now, the thing is that what BJP is trying to promote Amit Malviya's statement 
I want to just convey my message that when you talk about West Bengal as a safe heaven, so-called safe heaven, you should also always talk about Uttar Pradesh and Bihar because we have some international borders. Even Uttar Pradesh, Bihar shares Nepal border and I, we share with Bangladesh border. Now these borders are totally mm -hmm. taken care by the BSF and the BSF is under whom? Shri Shri Amit Shah. Now let me tell you something. When they talk about the national integrity and national security, where are we going about this whole political agenda? You, you're talking about political radicalization as well. Shriya, why can't you see ye do log arrest hue hai kontai se? Kontai kaha par aata hai? Purba Mednipur. Main Hindi mein isliye bol raha hu taki aapke viewers jo English bhi samajhte ho, Hindi bhi meri baat samjhe. It is very important, Shriya. Purbo Mednipur Kontai is the bastion, is the capital hub of Suvendu Adhikari and family, and you know it very well. So shall I do a cheap politics saying that since 13th of March 2024, the BJP supported by Suvendu Adhikari has been shielding these two people? That will be a cheap politics. Now, when you say about Kontai, yes, it is under mm -hmm. West Bengal. It is our duty to take care of everything. Anything under the jurisdiction of West Bengal belongs to Mamata Bondo Padia. But again, when you want to do a cheap politics, I will say even Narendra Modi should be blamed because he is my prime minister. He is not just, just the prime minister of Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, or any ruling state where he belongs. Mm -hmm. He is my prime minister as well. But again, Radhika. what I'm saying, it's not, it's not okay. good all about national integrity security mm -hmm. we have to fight together and you should pat mm -hmm. not mamta bondapadia you should pat not trinamul congress you should pat the rajya police the state police the nia who have done a remarkable job but instead of that what are you doing you are saying ki rishta kya kehlata hai you are but... saying ki inka gadbandhan kya hai agar aaj Sasi... yehi uttar pradesh mein agar ye nap karte if this would have hmm. been Uttar Pradesh and this too would have been arrested from Uttar Pradesh, the headline would have been different. A remarkable hmm. job done by the Yogi government. Hmm. I... Within two hours, they have been arrested. This is what are we playing, Shriya? Radhika Shah, I want you... Okay, 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 okay. Give me a minute. Radhika Shah, very quickly, I want you to respond to the allegation. Tosif says he's not making, but he's actually making. On Kontai and the Adhikari family ruling it, and this is the place from where these two terrorists have been caught. Uh, his logic is, if, if, if you're blaming Mamta Banerjee for shielding terrorists, uh, you should blame Shubendu Adhikari and his family for, blame, uh, for, for, uh, for shielding these terrorists. Because after all, since 13th of March, these two have been holed up in Kontai, which is a bastion of Shubendu Adhikari and family. So, you can say anything to say, right, Radhika Ji? Because they started with a song, I will start with a song. You have made me mad, 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 you have made me mad. Conchai is Shubendu Adhikari's bastard, but the state is being ruled by the TMC. I once again reiterate that Bengal is the safe haven for any visiting terrorist. And if this was the case, mm. the police are on their toes and working very hard and really smart and effective, then may I ask why Sheikh Shah Jahan mm. took nearly 50 days to find out? All of a sudden, Sheikh Shah Jahan comes out of his study hole and he appears in front of us. And it's the same West mm. Bengal police, I believe, who also work around the state. I rest my case. No, Radhika Shah. To, no, Radhika Shah, fact is... I hold no brief for Shah Jahan, Sheikh Shah Jahan. He should have been arrested on day one after the allegations came to the fore. But he's not a terrorist. Let's be clear here. Or, or are you saying even he is a terrorist? Well, he's a perpetrator of a terrible crime. Of course, he's not a terrorist. But, what but he's he not, that doesn't make Shah him a terrorist. Jahan, no. And... Well, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but Tosif, you know, one of the points that uh, uh, Radhika ji is not raising here, and I'm going to raise it here, the fact that you can take the moral high ground on what the West Bengal, uh, on what the BJP is saying. But the fact is that border areas in West Bengal are dotted, are dotted with bomb-making factories. It's almost like a cottage industry there. That is a fact that you cannot deny. Shriya, I'm, I'm not going to deny that. 
but can you answer me can you give me a full proof plan that these cottage industries so called bomb factories mm -hmm. are created by trinamool congress and there mm -hmm. is no hand from the bjp i'll remind you one of the blasts which happened in 2022 the block My leader who belongs from bjp bjp but again shriya i don't want to go through cheap politics we have to see our national integrity Tossi, we Tossi, have Tossi, to talk cheap politics to is desh ka is a curse on this country Yeah, but please happening. we know that if any bomb making factory exists anywhere it happens because of political patronage otherwise you can't survive to see huh? our viewers are smart and intelligent you know that let me Definitely. let me bring in yashovardhan azad here yashovardhan azad yashovardhan azad are you shocked by the sort of commentary political po commentary you are seeing over the arrest of two men slash terrorists accused of planting an id at the bangalore cafe i mean one would think that this is a time when the entire nation takes a deep breath and says thank god instead in the middle of election season it's become a political debate well i must say at the outset that it was a very interesting debate which i have uh, heard so far the best part of course was the shyly from uh, both sides let me uh, state at the very outset to two points one is that this arrest has resulted out of excellent investigation by the nia and an excellent cooperation between mm -hmm. nia and the west bengal police especially the east bandapur sp and the southern states mm -hmm. because if you see the trajectory of the entire you know uh, the investigation which started on 1st of march with the blast it went through various states and i has almost given the record because of the cctv Correct. because of the <coughs> support of the various state governments they were getting leads and leads and they caught people who provided the sims they pro who provided the facilitation so i think in that respect it was excellent what is it true share it proves mm. that whenever you have a national security issue whenever you have a terror crime in which politics is not involved the cooperation already exists between the state police and the central agencies which is an excellent prognosis uh, for the future second is a point which i have always maintained on your shows many a times when you have called me for these terror discussions is that whenever a terrorist action takes place you know the politician should hold their horses and not immediately you know give out their comments this is what happened if you recall and i think i was on one of your shows that comments were coming from all sides deputy cm of karnataka you know then then the top bjp leaders from this side whereas it was a classic terror case in which only the the police the intelligence and the central agencies should have been involved let me uh, speak my third point here that the future is 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 troublesome in the sense that you know you had semi cadres merging into pfi when you banned semi when you banned pfi they merged into the is cadres and today you have a classic example mm. of an investigation where it is proven that is an islamist terror and it is an act by the is cadres mm. the worst part is we are even you know talking about terror financing through cryptocurrency so here is a time when we should all as Correct. you rightly said get together there should be more cooperation between the central agencies and the state agencies that mm -hmm. the next two months that we go through a very peaceful elections and see that nothing okay. happens even later mm -hmm. that's a very important thing which i want to all right convey uh, mr azad Mr. Azad, we leave it leave it there for the moment, and we all hope and pray that we will have a peaceful election. It starts exactly in a week from now, uh, but this is a moment for us, all of us, to pat the NIA's back and pat the West Bengal Police's back. And the BJP could have done better than to sour this moment. Frankly, uh, even the Home Minister of this country refused to make any comments about uh, what the BJP has been saying about the issue. So I think that says something as well. We we'll leave it there for the moment. Radhika Bhattacharya, thank you very much for joining us. Tosi for Rehman, thank you very much. And Mr. Azad, always good to have you on the show.